Abby here from Ballerina Spy Night. And today I just wanted to do a really quick little fun video of my dance gadgets. I've been collecting this stuff for you know over a decade and you know birthday presents, Christmas presents, things like that. You acquire different things. Sometimes you just see something in the store and think it looks interesting. Plus I've been injured and been trying to rehabilitate different parts of me and so I've just acquired a lot of stuff over time and I thought I'd share with you um, some of the stuff that I have and I just got it all organized so that's kind of nice. This is what they call a hygienic TheraBand I think. You can pick these up on Amazon but I've also seen them carried lately at like Walmart, Target, places like that. Um, so it's got the loops and you can use it for stretching. I really like using something like this for stretching my splits because it just slightly lifts your heels but you're not actually doing like an over split it just kind of helps your hips relax and get that slight lift I don't know there are whole YouTube tutorials that really really cute little very flexible dancers have done using these there's all kinds of uses for them you know I'm not a proponent at all of doing too much in like an over split and especially taking that too far because you really start to then uh, lose some of your strength. Some people these days think that you can't get to a 180 you know, split leap if you don't have your over splits which is just completely not true because I never had my over splits and I always had a 180 degree split leap and that was like one of my best things because I was really really strong. So, you know, you do need, I like how the little bit of lift you get from that can give you just that little bit of relaxation without having to try and go do an over split to achieve a similar thing. This, what is this? I think this is the Porta Band, I believe is what they call it. You strap around your waist and then you have these bands that connect to your arms and Catherine Morgan has a video using these as well as a couple of other YouTube vloggers. I find this really, really, really helpful. Um, if I put this on to like work on a variation, it really helps me find the use of my back and that up and forward kind of a feeling. Very, very useful thing. The only thing I, I dislike about it is sometimes I feel like the waistband feels like it's going to come off so you know you have to be kind of careful about how you use it but it's very 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 effective for binding you know especially I say this in almost every video my quarter bra is one of my weaker things so I love things that I can try and find to help that. The voodoo band I got this from my chiropractor because I was having kind of some ankle and Achilles issues and again there are tons of YouTube tutorials about how to use use these. The basic idea is it's this really thick kind of rubber I guess and you wrap it around an area like your ankle and then you use your ankle like you would. You do whatever has been hurting you and through the process of having this really tight wrap and then using the ankle um, or whatever part of the body it is, you help the, the muscle kind of work out whatever is going on. I have found it also to be very, very effective and you have to really appreciate when you have a chiropractor that will sell you a product that's less than, considerably less than an office visit to try and keep you from having to come back in for more office visits. They are pretty much the greatest chiropractors ever and knowing that I was a dancer and sometimes I'd be in the middle of shows and I there's no way I could have gone in every single day, not to mention afforded it. They were really, really great to get me set up with that. Resistance bands, and I bought these with this cute little package from Gainer Minden that has resistance band exercises. And the exercises in here are fabulous. They tell you how many to do, you know how to do them, they're illustrated. So this guide is really 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 cool and this is not just your typical point and flex you know it has like full body resistance band exercises so everything to work on your retire your port bra your stretching 
as well as the foot exercises of the point and flex and things like that. So really, really excellent little thing. This would be a great gift for somebody. It's not that expensive, but very, very useful information. Then we have, this is probably one of the most expensive items I've ever sprung for. And that is the Flexa Stretcher. I really, really, really love the Flexa Stretcher. Now I've seen some criticism of this online, but what I like about this is it's built in a way that you can work on both stretching and strengthening at the same time if you're using it correctly. One of my favorite exercises to do is to put the leg in arabesque, you have the foot flexed, and then to do bend and press. So you bend the leg and press it out, and that helps you build the strength in your back to then be able to hold it later, if done correctly. And I work with students on this, and of course my son. So although this is a little bit more money, it's not just about you know something that you can use to stretch and kind of whack out your legs, which, you know, again, I'm, I'm not a, into overstretching. I don't believe it's necessary. Yes, you need your flexibility and you need enough flexibility, but you also need the strength. And I'm all about anything that will help you find the strength that you need to use the flexibility you have. And I feel like this does it really, really well. And the more, as time has gone on, I feel like there's been more and more videos of different ways to use the flexi stretcher are really good. So, you know, if, it, if you see it being used for overstretching, you don't have to do that exercise. But the strengthening exercises that you can do with that are excellent. This is small ball. It's just an exercise ball that is smaller. And if you've seen any of like the progressing ballet technique, there are tons of excellent exercises. There's also, again, entire uh, YouTube workouts. There's Pilates that you can do with these that if you have been to Pilates classes and you understand how to do the exercises and you add this in, really, really excellent work that can be done with this. And this was just from like Walmart, a couple bucks. And then I also have my big exercise ball, which again I use for progressing ballet technique as well as just regular um, conditioning my bows do. Now, I will say I, I really like my bosu. A lot of the things that you see people doing with the BOSU, you know, I, I mean, I've posted videos where I've attempted some of that stuff. I don't know that it's like the most useful exercises. I like to use the top side up and do things like grand plies, demi plies, because the way that it makes you hold your weight, I feel like it translates back into the classroom really, really quickly and easily to try and get the weight forward but you don't have to go crazy on it. And I don't know for the amount that it costs if it's necessarily the best investment. A lot of gyms have them, so if you have a gym membership, you can go use the one they have there. I don't know that you really have to have it at home. Balance pods. And this is the thing, is like these I actually really like. They're much less expensive. You can pick them up for not too much. There are a lot of exercises you can do on these, including doing plies on them, going, doing transfer of weight where you know, like you're going from fourth up to a retray. I just do it on flat, but to get your body weight for your turns. So I have found these to be actually a lot more useful than the, having the entire BOSU. And these can be picked up. I know I've seen them at Target when they're on Amazon. They're not that much. Now these were a really exciting find because most of the time these rotating discs are really expensive. Uh, it says this is Isokinetics Inc. I want to say these were like $15 each or so compared to like getting one of these for, I don't know, $60 to $100. And these rotate really, really well. Um, if you use two of them, they are great for putting one foot on each and working turnout. And then, well, rotation. Working your rotation from the hip and you can't cheat it. I've found this to be incredibly, incredibly useful. This I got um, probably seven or eight years ago after it was in first position because they showed Aaron Bell with it. And it's, um, you put your toes on it and you do toe exercises. 
really, really good little gadget that can build your toe strength and your foot strength, not um, your typical TheraBand exercise, but not the easiest to use. It's not fun, but very, very effective. These are like my new favorite thing. This is from a brand called Tone It Up, which is at Target, and they are these little discs that you can use them on tile if you put the black side down or on carpet if you put the other side down and you can slide so like if you want to do mountain climbers you can do mountain climbers really easily you can do the things where you have your hands there and then you pull your feet all the way up to your body and then go back out to push-up position um, you can get in push-up position and drag yourself around the house that was how we first saw it at a uh, gymnastics gym we saw the gymnasts in push-up position taking themselves all the way down the gym and all the way back with little sliders like these but I mean they have like all the uses in the world and man they sculpt you in a hurry uh, I have loved working on these and you could travel really easily with them too so that if you're going somewhere and you want something you can do in either a hotel room or um, you know just somebody's house that you're going to stay and get a really really effective workout in so that's definitely one of my um, favorite things just little ankle weights like this. Um, again, I know there's kind of dispute among some people about like using weights when you're doing jumps. I have always used weights. I also have wrist weights because as I've talked about my quarter bra being um, not very good about a billion times. When I was a teenager and I was training, I would just wear these on my arms to help strengthen my arms and helped a lot. And then just doing jumps with some little ankle weights, I really like doing. Yeah, maybe not for everybody, but it's worked for me. Oh, these. These are the circles. Even just walking around the house with these around, like under your knees, really, really changes your alignment and really, really helps. And you can do things like plies and, you know, again, you just type in loop bands into YouTube, all kinds of stuff comes up, little workouts with these, and also really great for sculpting. That's about it. I have a couple of things, I have just tennis balls, and of course I love tennis balls. We have um, you know, the, the video I did with my mom where she gave us the foot exercises with the tennis balls, and those are incredibly effective. Uh, this is one to work out muscle knots. This is, the, you know, because I get my piriformis all tight up in my um, glutes. And so this is one of the only things that can really like hit some of the really, really deep muscles. You know, I have a turn board and we used to have a tutorial up for it, but the thing is, I've seen people seemingly get great results working with these things, but for me personally, whenever I worked on them and then I actually went back into the classroom, my turns went like, um, I mean, I just didn't feel, like I think it, it can be good for working like some spotting. And maybe it works better if you're working in parallel, but for ballet and for trying to achieve ballet turns. What I find this better for is to actually just kind of work on like adagio work and just put it under your supporting foot trying to maintain that. But I really have not been too impressed with it for turns. But again, some people do, some people have great results, so that's just me. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. You know, I mean, I have some just Regular yoga blocks, Walmart had these on sale for like less than $3, so I picked up a couple. And you know, they're really helpful for, you know, like adding to your stretch to get a little bit longer stretch and just different things like that. I don't have any type of, um, what do they call them, kettlebells, but I think those can also be really effective for, you know, if you wanted to do plies, I would use them at the gym to do like plies with weights in like a wide second. I did that at the gym last week and got really, really sick and sore, so that was good. Oh, my cats are trying to beat out the door. I did put my cats up earlier because they were trying, they really wanted to be the star of the videos today, and now they want to come out of the door. 
in the bedroom, but I thought they were at the front. I thought it was someone at the front door. <laughs> so I was like freaking out, like who's at my door? But yeah, that's all for today. I hope you liked my little video about gadgets. And like I say, I mean, this is like a decade's worth of like collecting these things. So most of them on their own are not that expensive. And like I say, they can make kind of nice little Christmas or birthday gifts for a dancer in your life or to ask for yourself. If you know of anything else that you really love, comment below and click like if you like this stuff. Let me know what you've used and what you really like. If you disagree with me on something that you either hate something I like or love something I don't care for, you know, maybe there's another way of uh, using something that we could share. So that's all for today. We'll see you next time. Bye.